what's up people of god how are y'all i hope everything is going well i just wanted to get on here this evening with a quick encouragement okay god is heavily dealing with me about idols especially the hidden ones i think as believers we still um mentally tend to think of idols as like wood and carving um images or golden statues that people are bowing down before but it's not like that anymore they're a lot slicker <laughs> so we have to use discernment there was even a time in my life where I was battling a, a disease, and endometriosis, okay, stage four. I didn't know what it was. Doctors thought it was cancer. And I've already gone through kind of my um, dealings with the new age Christianity and stuff like that, how the enemy was really seducing me into that many years ago. Um, if you want the full testimony, you can head on over to YouTube. <laughs> but I'm going to keep it short on here. So I found myself chasing any herb, any practice that could, you know, heal me. And I realized it was leading me further away from the Lord and what he had already done. And that's how the power of the enemy was broken from over me and the blindness was taken out of my eyes. Well, somebody literally came into my salon and was like, Jeannie, Jesus already died for this to happen. Like, you don't need that stuff. And I was just like, oh, I don't. Oh, my God. It was like literally a veil lifted up. And I realized I don't need no crystals. What am I doing? It was literally like I woke up from a sleeping slumber or something. Super weird. But I, I'm grateful that the Lord revealed to me how I got there. And it was through idolatry. I idolized healing. I idolized having more children. You know, I idolized these seemingly good things. And so I said out there to say, the Lord dropped in my spirit, you know, just watch what you do, right? Watch what we are entertaining. Like, be careful of um, entertaining anything that claims to do what Jesus already did and without, without the assistance of the Holy Spirit. Anything that promises you what Jesus has already done, which if you get in your word, you will, you will know the promises of God and you will know what he died for, how, you know, why he died, what our inheritance is as his children, right? You're going to already know that. So get in the word and find that out. And anything, any practices that are involving uh, spirits other than the Holy Spirit, Reiki, I'm sorry, y'all, that ain't, that ain't a God. Mediums, consulting them, that's not of God. I was reading that, uh, what is that, First Samuel chapter 28 this morning, and, and I saw how Saul, oh my God, he just fell so far away from the Lord. Uh, Holy Spirit completely left this man. He even went to consult mediums about a battle you know that he was trying to win um in the name of the israelites you know he still felt like he was doing a good thing but he went to the very people that he expelled um or told to get out of his land to begin with and to get out of the land of uh jerusalem or i think it was judah or something like that whatever he was ruling at that time so the very witches and the people that were practicing necromancy he went to those people. This is how far he was with idolatry and how obsessed he was with the prophet Samuel and how obsessed he was with winning this battle against David. He went to witches <laughs> for help. You know, and that's honestly, that's what I found myself doing, going to these Reiki healers and all these healers. And now I'm very sensitive when people pop up even on my timeline with all these goddess names and you know claiming to be a healer and claiming to spread love and light baby where is it coming from because even the enemy can come as though he's some kind of light even the devil knows scripture you know what i'm saying so again just want to leave this leave y'all with this thought be careful and mindful of anything that promises you what Jesus has already given you and without any assistance of the Holy Spirit. Okay? That's all I got. Y'all be well. <laughs>